What's up, YouTube? You're watching Mike Plays Blind, and welcome to the Power Hour. Today, we're going to try something a little new, a little different. Um, I want to take a look at Ark Survival Evolved and see just how far we can get as a new player in one hour, especially now that I know a little bit about the game. Um, this is definitely a difficult and unforgiving game. But, um, as you can see, I already murdered my current character on here. We're setting up a new one now. And uh, I wish I could take credit for this idea, but I really can't. Uh, I saw another uh, YouTuber, randomized user, do something like this on his channel with the game Savage Land. He, uh, again, just started out in the game fresh as a new character and just took a look at how far you could get, what kind of progress you could make in one hour. So that's exactly what we're going to do here today. I'm going to spawn in South 2. I do kind of already have a plan. And as soon as we get uh, our character loaded up here and have control, we're going to get get the timer rolling and uh, well we're just gonna see how far we can go it looks like we spawned here in morning that's awesome all right go ahead and start this and let's see how far we can get do a little uh, e-mashing see if we can find ourselves a stone because that's gonna be the big one to start with fiber more fiber we're gonna need that coming up come on all there we go we got some stones Oh, no, we're going to need to do some tree punching first. Get an idea where we are. So what I want to do... All right, good. There's the wood we need. I'm going to climb up here and try to get a better vantage point, see if I can tell exactly where we are. What I want to do is head towards the uh, chitin cave that's over here in the... Um, um, the, uh, the ravine. Right, let's go ahead and get this equipped. Drop that on two. And we're going to need some flint. As soon as we level, we're going to make an axe and a spear. Let's go ahead and grab a few of these, and we still need to make a torch. Alright, there's a couple of wood. We've got plenty of thatch now. Let's switch back and do a little more e-mashing on some plants. Whoops. Oh, put that down. Okay, there we go. All right, I think I know. Yep, I do know where we are. All right, perfect. The Stardust, even Stardust on the beach I wanted to be on. There's that first level. We can make ourselves... Oh, yeah, I guess we got to do this first. Get ahead of myself. Melee damage. Let's go axe. Spear. Close. Should have enough. Yep, there we go. Craft. What are we short here? Oh, yeah, right. We're short wood. So let's go ahead and throw this axe on three. And set this up the same way I play on the other server. So, yeah, some of the buttons are going to be in probably uh, not the most convenient place for where I drop everything, but it's just what I'm used to on the other server, so it'll be good for me. All right, we want to make a couple of these. Yeah, so two, that's good. And let's go ahead and make our torch, too. Get all our items hooked up. Drop that there. I seem to have really bad luck with these spears breaking. So, there we go. Drop that on seven. We're pretty much good to go here now. For now, let's pull this thing on out. Grab a drink real fast. I think we're just going to do some e-mashing unless we run into something. We need to kill some dodos, kind of get ahead of the curve there. And when we get our next level, we're going to learn some basic crafting, a campfire, maybe a... Uh... Oh no, it started me over here. We're going to have to cross. Okay, well, that's no problem. I don't want to cross in the water. I kind of feel like with this last update, the uh, Mega Piranha has gotten a lot more dangerous. So I'm going to try to avoid the water as much as we can early on. And maybe it was just me. Maybe I just had really bad luck with it the other day. But uh, they didn't manage to kill me on the other server. But, uh, yeah, they definitely took a chunk out of, out of me and uh, a lot more than I would have expected. I'm trying to lose some weight real fast, drop some of these rocks. We'll hang on to the wood for now. It could become useful. Oh, I heard a dodo. That sounds like lunch. Yeah, so I put a few videos up for this game before, and uh, I am the worst, like, dino owner ever. I managed to get every one of those dinosaurs I had killed one way or another, and they're pretty much all my fault, except for, uh, oh, let's go help this Dilo out. 
him, or help the dialogue. Help this guy out, we're gonna kill both of them. There we go. Not really gonna help anybody out. I do want your meat, but after that we're gonna switch over to hide. Now where'd your dodo go? Come here, dodo. I hear you. Ah, I see you. Alright. That's right. For you now, we're going to switch over to hide. Because we're going to need that coming up. I hear another one, but I don't see it. Okay, good. There's that second level we needed. Let's go ahead and take one more of these guys out. That way, once we build a campfire, we'll have a decent amount to cook. Get ourselves really set up right. And then we're going to need all this leather. Well, hide, sorry. Oh, man, this place is Dodo Paradise. Well, somebody's got to help these guys go extinct. Might as well be me. Yeah, with this last update, they changed the spawning algorithm and uh, a number of other things. And besides the obvious, the two new biomes. Okay. I think I know right where we are. So I think what I want to do... Oh, God damn it. I really don't want to fight too many of these guys. He's probably following us. Oh, no. Maybe not. So let's go ahead and just go through here. It should be just fine anyway. What I want to do is make it down to this ravine. Let's go ahead and apply our level real fast while it's safe. I'm going to go ahead and boost our melee a little bit. Learn Campfire and Thatch Foundation. So as soon as we get to where I want to, that's when we're going to really start boosting fast. We're going to try to get through a couple levels through crafting. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because a few things early on that we can uh, really use to our advantage. All right. Am I at the beach? Yeah, I look like I'm at the beach. Oh, God. Mega Nerna. Oh, man. There's a whole swarm of them. Well, I guess that's good for us once we kill them all. Oh, man. I changed early. And we're poisoned. So we have no stamina. Our water and our food are both decreasing really fast. All he gave me was chitin. Where'd the other ones go? I guess I probably need to turn ground clutter back down. Alright, well, we survived that madness. And we are uh, right about where I wanted to be anyway, so this is good. I think. Let me check. When we get down here on the beach, I'll know. Yeah, this looks about right. Yeah, with this last update, some of the uh, spawning and some of the other things changed too. Hey, free meat. Oh, oh, we're having an R kick up. There we go. Yeah, I like this area for an early start because it's close to a lot of the resources that you're going to need early on. In the cave, you can get metal, you can get tons of chitin. There's obviously like plenty of trees and everything else around here. Oh yeah, this is right where I wanted to be. So we're going to go up here a little closer to the cave. I should have grabbed water while I was out there, so we're going to have to turn around and do that. We're going to get a couple of foundations down. The cave should be right up here somewhere. Let's see. Boom. Yep, there it is. All right. So we're going to just lay out a couple foundations here. That's weird. It's like glowing on the inside. I didn't think there were crystals still further down in there. All right. Let's make, uh, oh, let's make a foundation, it looks like. We need a campfire, too, which we need more rocks for that. All right. Drop this on nine. We're just going to go ahead and uh, stake our claim. Can't place floor close to the structure. There shouldn't be any structures anywhere even close to this. Huh. I wonder, is that because of the cave? Yeah, I wiped my, uh... I wiped my single-player game. I wiped the map before I started. Well, I guess we'll just go, like, right up here. This actually isn't too bad, either. Not quite where I wanted to be, but... Still good. We'll take it. All right, let's go down and get some water on the beach. Oh, no, we need food, not water. Okay, well, let's get some stones. We can make a campfire. 
That I think should do it. Let's make sure. Uh, what are we? No, we're not short anything. Okay, craft item. We're gonna build a couple of these early on, and we're gonna get some of this meat cooking up. Uh, da da da. Yeah, there we go. Let's just put this one. Let's mark the boundary with it. We'll put it right here. Uh, yeah, I'll drop all 21 in there. We can get more. Drop those, drop that. And we're going to be good for food for a long time. Um, let's we'll start pumping our movement speed. It's better be good to be faster than everything that's trying to eat you. All right. Hmm. So now we have some choices to make. Some clothing would be good to offer some protection from the elements, but also getting a structure up that we can run in and hide would also be a plus. So let's learn... Walls, door frames, which I just said that backwards, and roofs. Oh, actually, we have three more points. That's right, that's right. I. Hmm. How about pants? Those would be important to me. Alright. We can worry about doors later. And yes, we're hot. Thank you, game. Alright, so now we get to the berries. I'm going to try to start building up a stockpile of mayo berries because I definitely want to try to cl clock out one of these guys up here and uh, make us a few friends. We're going to leave that there cooking. We're going to get a little more wood. Probably got to grab some stone here real fast too just so we have some again. Is it me or did the light just shift? Well, either way, whatever. Alright. We're going to get a few more foundations done. Let's do a little more emash and get some fiber. Make ourselves some pants. And we should be in pretty good shape. We've got a lot of meat already. We do need to start building a stockpile of mayo berries and some uh, narco berries. And then I might try to get us a parasaur or a Fiomia would be really nice. I'd actually prefer a Fiomia. And back here in this uh, little ravine we're in is a great place to get them because they'll glitch out and run into the walls. Which I know is kind of a cheap way to take advantage of the uh, their AI. But uh, early on in playing alone, I'm going to take, take any advantage I can. Nope, we don't want the stone. We want the water, which... I guess we don't need it since it's raining. I, th I think this is like South South 1 or South 2, I think, are like the ideal places to start out in this game because both of them, there aren't a lot of predators here. I mean, right around where we're at, there's going to be some raptors on the backside of the ravine. but um, And then you obviously have the spinos that kind of travel up and down the uh, river there. But by and large, there's not much here that's really going to come after us. The dilos we can handle as long as they aren't in a really big pack. Um, let's go ahead and grab these plants too just to get them out of our way, kind of clear the site. Oh, come on. There we go. Um, and occasionally you'll get a, uh, a uh, dino croc coming after you up here. But not too often. Again, they kind of stick to the river, and they're, they're really more on the back side on the kind of ocean side of uh, this ravine. So let's build a couple more foundations, get those dropped down. Uh, we can go ahead and make pants too, maybe that's a good idea. Let's go ahead and craft one of those. Get ourselves a little bit of protection. Looks like we can only make one more foundation, then what are we short? Oh really, thatch. Okay, well I'm going to go grab a ton of thatch then. Alright, let's drop these on here. Yeah, looking better already. And then... Go ahead and put down this other foundation. That rock there might be in the way, but, you know. I like building my first house to be like a 2x2 two two square, rather than just doing like a single little hut. Because then I can fit in a small chest, I can fit in a second campfire, in case we get a oversupply of uh, meat. And kind of do some other little things that uh, help out to start with. 
Alright. Now you can just give me your hide. We're gonna need a lot of hide because we definitely need to make a mortal and pestle as soon as we can. We can start making narco. Alright, that should do <coughs> excuse me, that should do us on wood for a long time. No, not a long time, but for a while. Now we just need a bunch of thatch, and we're probably gonna need more fiber. Watch our weight, it's not too bad yet. Oops. Yeah, actually, let's, let's pick some more stuff. We need to start stockpiling these berries. There we go, another level. Let's see what we can do. Um, I'm gonna pump movement speed again. And let's see, we have eight points. So we could go ahead and learn this. Uh, let's learn the storage box first, actually, because that way we can start dropping some of these things off. And uh, some of the things that we're going to need later, we can start building up a supply of stones, start putting all the hide we're carrying around in there. And the mortal and pestle doesn't do us any good without the narcotic recipe, so a slingshot would be another good thing for knocking somebody out. But uh, I don't know. I think I might just try punching out a dinosaur. I've done it before. It's been a while. But uh, it can be done. Maybe we'll try punching out a dilo. Be nice to have a little guard dog. All right, you know, maybe we'll take a trip down to the other side of this canyon too once we get a uh, a few things up down here. All right, so that's our boundary on that side. I want to make. Let's see, what all can we make right now? We can make the storage box. Let's go ahead and do that. And then, all right, yeah, we can make two more foundations then. Let's see if we can make a wall. Ooh, we can make three walls. Let's do that. That'll give us lo lots and lots of XP's. So we'll drop this on eight. And we'll drop this on zero. So let's go nine. Uh, what direction do we want to go? It's obstructed there. You know what, let's be creative. Let's put that there. Is that there? Is that in my fire? No, but it's close. It's cool. It's uh, fire retardant. I can't place that. Oh, that's stupid. Do I need to cut down the tree first? Why can't I place it there? Okay, then, we'll put that there. Alright, well, we're going to have an oddly shaped house. Is it just the tree? We can do another one. Why? Why can't you place there? Okay, well, I guess we're going to have an oddly shaped house. We're going to have a very oddly shaped house. Jesus. Oh well, you know, I guess they can't all be winners, can they? Alright. Let's go ahead and drop this chest down so we're not carrying it. Uh, i put that on 8. We'll put that back in this corner. The perfect place. It's very important, especially early games, to have everything in the perfect place. Alright, throw the chitin we've got in there. We've got 46 hide already. That's pretty good. Uh, we got a lot of rocks too. Let's drop. Uh, let's drop most of them in there because we don't need to carry around the weight. All right. So we still have a good, a good amount of fiber. These I'll throw in for now. I'm probably just going to end up chucking these because we're not going to be doing any farming anytime soon. We have 17 narco berries. Not much mayo. That's what we really need to start off. Start doing some tames. So I need to do some e mashing. All right. Here we go. Though here's 23 more steaks for us. Uh, we definitely want to hang on to that too. Some spoiled meat. Um, bloop. Take that. We got some charcoal in there. We'll throw these in there. The fire will run out before everything's cooked, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, let's do a little e mashing. We can finish our house later. I should probably throw a little more wood in the fire, but yeah. I'm not that concerned with food. I mean, we're a little down right now, but I'm not that concerned with food. 
what I want to do is get some berries and start getting at least one tame going. I really like to do the tames two or three at a time. Because that way you get the XP from it. And it uh, makes it a little more worthwhile running back and forth. But at this point in the game, I don't know that we can really do that. We don't have the supply to. I probably already mentioned this, but I do have the settings adjusted on here <clears throat> to match our server. So... I am get the resources are set to two, and the taming speed is also set to two. That way, we can maybe get at least one of these done today. You know what? Hmm. We got two. Uh, I really want a Fiomia. At least that way, I can make a saddle for it pretty early on. All right, what do we have here that we don't need? Seventeen stone. Uh, only got twenty-eight mayo berries, but we have sixty tenno berries. So it would take a little longer. Let's see. You're only a level four, so. Oh, where'd you go? Okay, right. That's what I thought. See, they'll run right into the rocks in here. Something's screwed up. So this is never a good way to knock out a dino. Like, this guy's not going to get any kind of taming bonus. But at least we'll knock him out. Let's we'll toss on these mayo berries. We're going to toss on these tenno berries as backups. And I'm going to go ahead and drop in half these narcos so we have them if we need them. All right. So that's going. That's going to be free XP whenever he does tame out. Um, yeah, I hear him. He's eating there already. He's only a level four. With the taming set to two, it's going to take a while. Never mind. Well, hopefully he tames out before the end of the video. As soon as I can make a slingshot, we'll try getting somebody else tamed up. Maybe I should concentrate on levels more and see about making the narco arrows you get much better results I mean just like real life if you uh, try to make an animal your friend by punching it out there's really a don't expect that to yield good results yeah actually let's look at one thing real fast where'd this guy go well he is gonna get one extra level as long as uh, our taming efficiency stays okay I'm kinda surprised it wasn't lower than that to start with I wonder with this update if I just can't build in front of this cave anymore. On our other server, we built a fort like right in front of this place that we use as like a processing thing because although there's metal ore, there's chitin, there's all kinds of stuff in there that's useful. All right, so let's clean out our inventory a little bit. Let's drop uh, most of these stones in here again, like that. Uh, let's hang on to our flint for now. Put that there. We have a thing of 200 fiber. I'm going to go ahead and throw that in there because we are going to want to make more clothes coming up real soon. I guess we're really not carrying that much other than a lot of berry weight. Alright, well in that case then let's head back down to the beach and uh, let's get a little more thatch, a little more wood and uh, grab a glass of water. Oh, we got another arc hiccup. There we go. And for a while it wasn't doing that and then... Uh, in the last week or so, it started doing that again for me. Don't think I changed anything in the settings, but, you know. That's the, uh, that's the way she plays an arc. Alright, so if we can get some walls up and a roof done, we're going to have this odd-looking house done. We'll also get the XP from that. There's wood for our fire, and actually I do want to grab some more stones so we can make a second fire in the house. Now, er early game, having these two fires isn't really that important, but where it's going to be important later is uh, once we start needing charcoal to make gunpowder. I don't think we're going to get anywhere near that in this video, but uh, it'd be nice if we did. Making the flare guns useless, making the pistols useless, but the shotgun and uh, the rifle, double barrel and the rifle, I think are the two best weapons in this game. I mean, I definitely don't like the fabricated pistol. The pump action is not bad because you have the higher ammo capacity, but it does less damage. So I'm not a giant fan of that. All right, we're going to go check on our buddy over there. We should probably put a fire by him, too, just so we can find him at night. Um, yeah, actually, what are we, starving? Yeah, we're starving. Hmm. This is the arc weight loss program. Alright, so let's do this. Let's craft another campfire first. 
Let's craft that. And actually, I think we want to make two of these, so I need more stone. Whoa. Game kind of spazzed there for a second. I just get 16. I want to get at least 16 so we can drop that other campfire over there and not have to worry about it. There we go. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, we have all that wood on us. Okay. Alright, so here, let's do this. Let's drop this right here on 8. Go ahead and drop that then. Right about there. Um, should be able to, you know, almost walk again. Let's throw, split this up, and we're going to drop 15 wood in here just to have them there in case we need them. We're going to drop another 15 in this one. Okay, everything's cooked already. We're going to light this one. Joop. And... We're going to find our soon-to-be friend over by this rock over here, I think. Oh, I bet it's not going to let me drop a stupid campfire over here either. Uh, where'd he go? Is he this far down? Yeah, I guess he was. How's your conscious? Wow, this guy's taming up fast. Okay. He's only got ten mayos left. So we'll drop these on, keep the taming speed up. If you guys didn't know, those are the best, uh, for herbivores, those are the best way to tame them. So we're going to have to remote use some of these narco berries on him. I'm just going to go ahead and do seven of them. Get his torpor back up. That probably really hurt the taming effect of this. Yeah, I see it's down to 89 already. But... That m we're going to be cutting it close, but that might be enough to make him our friend without having to uh, go back and narc him again. I might have overdone it there a little bit, actually. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Let's see if it'll let me drop a campfire here. I really hope it will. No, of course not. Is it the cave? It's got to be the cave. I don't know what else it could possibly be. How far in this direction do I have to go? Yeah, I gotta go pretty far before I can light it. Make a fire. You know, we'll put this down and it'll be a boundary to let us know that we've gone too far. Drop that in there. Light it up. Switch back to our axe. Grab a little wood. Our pick's about to break too. Alright. So yeah, if we hit this fire, we've gone way too far. Then I want to utilize all the stats and everything else we're carrying. Alright. That guy's not going to be of much use to us. But, you know, it is still... We're dehydrated. Okay, I figured that was coming. It is still something. He can still kind of help us defend a little bit. Worst, you know, worst case scenario, he's a not so human shield. If we get attacked by a larger predator, I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen more of the uh, dilos down here on the beach. Oh right, yeah, you just grab that water. All right, we're about to level again, so probably when we put up our walls over here, the rest of our walls and our hey, I just said something about dilos. That one just magically materialized. Got out of the way of his spit. Stab him in the face. Stab him. Oh no, a spear broke. Come on. Oh, other spear broke. Are you kidding me? And I'm crafting one now because I freaking panic and hit the button. Are we about to get killed? Ah, uh, then he spit on us. All right. Where's he at? You just die and leave me alone. All right. Oh no, we died. Well, all right. We're gonna respawn in South Two. Uh, yeah, we're in South 2. Okay, respawn. Please be not here. Damn it. Let me see. Let me make sure I know where we are. Yeah, I do. Damn it. Alright, well, this is going to be a pain to run back from here. Well, at least we killed the Dilo. So with any luck, we'll have more than a book bag left over there. I'm sure something else will eat us. I heard you. I'm running. 
I guess I could mash E and pick up some stuff on the way. I wonder. No, I don't wonder. I don't want to do anything stupid. Let's just jump down here. Okay, I guess that was further than I thought. Do a little more running. Yeah, being on this side does kind of make me nervous because I know there's the freaking giganto crocodiles over here sometimes. Or at least there used to be. I don't know. They've really shifted the spawn spawning stuff a lot, it seems like, with this update. Ugh. Dodo, you are lucky. I'm unarmed. Looks like we're going to make it back in record time. Got out of stamina. Oh, screw you, Dilo. Just leave me alone. You don't want none of this. Alright, alright, alright. Here we go. We're exhausted. Good news is we have some more berries. Jump to the rock. Alright, we're almost back. See if our corpse is waiting here for us. And the Dilo's corpse that killed us. Let's see, where were we exactly? Hmm. I think we were back the other way, but I didn't see anything. Uh, even if we can't find it, we didn't lose that much. Were we up here? Seems like there should at least be a book bag here waiting for us. Would be nice to have all that meat and our tools back, though, so I'm like rock punching again. Uh, it's dinosaur poop. Nothing. More nothing. Up oh, there we are. Let's just take all. And, uh, you know, you can't let this stuff, kind of stuff go to waste, so... There we go. Nine more raw meat. Where's that asshole Dilo that killed us? He should be up here somewhere. Yeah, you know what? Forget it. Let's put some soup on. By soup, I mean sweet, delicious chunks of human flesh. Oh man, this fire's already almost out too. Drop some more wood on there. Uh, Alright, well, with this level, let's go ahead and move our melee up again one more time. And we have 10 points. So it's still not quite enough. Uh, we're going to go ahead and learn that anyway. And we're going to just save those four points. Let's check on our buddy down here before we craft anything. Oh good, it looks like he tamed out. And I'm dehydrated. Yeah, it looks like you're stuck too, buddy. Let me cut this tree down for you. Let's turn it into thatch. And are you following me, or are you just, uh, you hanging out in the rock there, buddy? Yeah? Let's see, enable following. Are you stuck? Yeah, you're stuck. Come on, buddy. I need a drink. Oh, quicko. Are you coming? What you're going to do is protect my base. Not very well, but you know, you're still going to do it. Are you having trouble? Yeah, you are, aren't you? Interesting. All right, well, let's mash some berries. There we go. Come on, dude, you can do this. You got this. There you go. Let's go ahead and uh, bring him up just a little further. Give him a unfollow. 
You know what, we'll hit the water in a minute. I need to make doors and get this place done the rest of the way real fast. Alright, so... Lost my train of thought there for a second. Thatch doors, we're going to need a couple of these. We need at least two. We're going to need a couple more foundations too to kind of fix this place since it... Uh, isn't letting me place things where I'd like. Let's drop those on eight, actually. So... Hmm. So I'd like to have a little bit more storage space in here. Can I make another foundation? This is going to be the ugliest damn house ever. So I can't put a wall up there. Can't put one up there, so it means we're gonna have to put a doorway right here. Uh, oh, eight, right, duh. So there's that. Let's take down the. Oh, we can't put a foundation down there either, can we? Let's, yeah, let's find out. Maybe if I get rid of this rock. Our pick should break any second now. There we go. Oh, what are we short? We're short wood. Well, great. Here, tree. Give me your things. Oh, seriously, this is going to be the ugliest house I've ever seen. Alright, Parasaur, I'm going to make your day. I'm going to give you a bunch more berries just so I can lose the weight. Here, have uh, 86 Azul Berries. That's right, buddy. You love Azul Berries. All right, back to rock smashing. Yeah, we are gonna need some more stone for our mortar pestle. Hey, there's some metal. Kind of surprised we hadn't gotten any of that yet. Wow, that was a tough, tough rock. All right, here we go. Nine, boom. Perfect. So now we're going to take down this wall. And demolish. And let's see. We're going to put our other door. We'll just put it over here. This better not tell me I can't put a wall up right here either. All right, good. All right. Whoa. Well, that's what we have this for. All right, so this is going to be our little oddly shaped house, the porch right here. We're going to need to make a couple more walls, obviously. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, utilize this fire, so I can drop this out. And we're going to need doors and walls. All right. Eventually a roof, but, you know, roofs for fancy people. Oh, you know what? Let's ditch some of this extra garbage we're carrying again. 53 stones. Oh, okay, we can finally make the immortal and pestle. Oh, come on, Ark, don't do this again. There you go. And craft item. Watch these XPs from this. Come on, come on. Boom, even more than I thought. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and place this. There on eight. Eight. And we'll uh, put it over here next to the fire. Have this be like our little crafting area. And maybe throw another storage container in there eventually. And that looks good to me. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Uh, oh, our pants, we should put our pants back on. Let's drop this in there, that loses a pound. Drop the spoiled meat in the, uh, yeah, we'll just leave it in there for now. Not like we can do anything with it. Drop half our flint in here. Most of our stone. More of our flint, oh yeah, we need more spears, don't we? I have the worst luck with spears in this game. Like I break them just constantly. Okay, we're going to need a little more wood. We should probably do a run for water. We'll get wood on the way back. Make up a couple more spears. I think we're going to go with three this time. Alright, there's our water. Oh, we need the wood first, right? Right, right, right. There's 
20. Switch over and start grabbing some thatch again. Maybe, just maybe, we can get this house done before we run out of time. What do we got left here anyway? Oh, we still got 20 minutes. So yeah, this place will be done. It's going to look weird, but it'll be done. Uh, so let's see, let's just do it this way. So we need walls. Let's count this out real quick. We don't need any doorways. We need one, two, three, four, five walls. Okay. Can we make five walls? We can make ten walls. Four, five. All right. Should make, even be able to make some, uh, a roof for ourselves then. I think I just added an extra wall. Did I? Yeah, it looks like I did. Oh, we need doors, too. For that illu illusion of protection from our thatch house. Actually, I guess I want to do this from in here, don't I? Uh, and... Boop. And... Boop. Oh, I put that one up backwards. That's okay. It's, uh, it's an artistic statement, then. Alright, so then we need some ceilings. And I think what we're actually going to do is we're going to make this a two-story house. That way, when we get to that point, if I end up doing a second video for this, we'll have a place to put large storage units because it's definitely something that we want. Uh, all right, so ceilings. Pretty sure I learned that already. Yep, I did. We can only make two. That's fine. We'll take it. All right, we won't need to make any more foundations coming up anytime soon, so we'll drop that there. Nine... Drop that one there. Use this as our makeshift stairs. Use the other one there. That way, we can hop up here. Well, this could be cool. I wonder if I'll be able to put a roof over this one, too. Then we'll have a nice little... Uh, this house might not be so bad. Maybe I can put a balcony off the back here. Yeah. We're getting somewhere. Let's, see, let's get rid of this tree, too. I think it's actually wood holding us back right now, so. I've been kind of trying to keep an eye out for a drop we can get, but I yeah, I don't think we can get green ones yet. Actually, I'm pretty sure we cannot. I think only the white ones. Yeah, I think only the white ones we can get. Oh, maybe green. Maybe we'll try that one in a second. See if it gets us murdered. I can never remember like what, what the color cutoff is for like what level. Eat something real fast. Uh, so we got plenty of wood, plenty of thatch. So we're going to need more roofs, and we're going to need more walls. So let's do it like this. Let's get uh, doo -doo -doo, three more. Yeah, three. Yeah, this should be good. Nine. Let's do that there. And Magnifico. Yeah. Starting to look pretty good here. Oh, yeah. We can place that one, too. It's even going to look cool. What I wonder, though, is will it let us place a wall up here on the second floor? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. Yeah, so you can't place that there. Can't place that there. Well, we're just going to have an oddly shaped house. That's cool, though. Maybe I'll put a door up here, and uh, we'll have a little a balcony. I mean, come on. How many huts out there have balconies? Uh, what are we short? Wow, we go through a lot of thatch. I guess making a thatch building because it kind of makes sense. All right, Tree, give me your thatch. And you, too. Oh, one second, guys. All right, there we go. Perfect. You know, I kind of like that little tree right there. It gives the house character. This tree, on the other hand, though, is a jerk. We're going to get rid of that one. 
All right, we'll leave the plants out there. Some nice little bushes for us. Are you a tree? I think you're a tree. All right, yeah, things are starting to take shape here. And maybe we do need one more foundation. Put a nice little porch out here. Once we're smart enough to invent ladders, this place could be uh, not too terrible. All right, so we have one more roof. Well, actually, we don't want to use that yet. <laughs> I guess we could go ahead and drop it. Ah, yeah, but we won't. That would look weird. Boom, there's that next level we needed. We've got to relight the fire, but we'll do that in a minute. All right, so zero, switch it over. Can we not make any more? Are we out already? No, we can. There we go. Alright, throw this on up here. And... Okay, perfect. So now we're going to need just a couple of door frames, or a door frame. I think this little cubby hole up here is going to basically be useless, but you know, whatever. Alright, do we have any wood left so I can relight this thing? Yeah, good. We got 15. Go ahead and toss those in there. Grab this charcoal. Light this bad boy up. And this time let's pump our movement speed again. Alright, so now we got 12 points, which means we can learn both narco and... Hmm, what do we want to do? Probably the slingshot? Yeah. We're going to need that for the bow anyway. And we just got to get a couple more levels before we can do that. I don't know if we can do that the time we got left or not. Probably not, actually. Sorry. Right. Hmm. Making it really hard to see without the, uh... Hopefully the sun comes back up pretty soon. Right, let's go ahead and grab a little more wood. So we threw all ours in the fire. There's 25. That should cover it. We're going to be running low on fiber here pretty soon, but I know I threw some in the box, so... Alright, well... As soon as the sun comes back up, I want to at least try to get another tame going. My goal really is, uh... Once you get to, a bow, to where you can make a bow and arrow, this game gets a lot easier, because then you have a ranged combat, and you can start going after bigger animals. But over here, getting a Triceratops would be ideal, even though I, I don't think I've actually seen one recently, but I know they're out here in this area. Alright. So we're looking good for food and water. Go ahead and get this torch up. We're walking a little slow because we're almost overburdened. Alright. So let's get this place. Let's get a roof on this place. Oop, come on, go in the door. There you go. Alright. We'll put the... Uh, uh, how are we going to do this? Oh no, we need a whole other story on here before we get a roof on. So yeah, we want to be able to put large shelving up here. This place is going to look so freaking weird. Uh, so we need walls. Uh, oh, fiber. Yep, I knew we were almost out of fiber anyway. Why did I not grab it? Uh, so let's grab these. We can ditch some of these stones. Anything extra? We're carrying charcoal we don't need right now. Okay. Lose this torch for a minute. Jump on back up. Let's go ahead and get some more walls going. We're also going to need two doorways, at least. Actually, you know what? Let's do all doorways on the second floor. We need doors. So let's do this. So for doorways, we can just do five of them. Can we make any doors after that? Maybe? Where is door? Did I not learn door? 
Flash foundation. Roof wall. Yeah, I don't think I learned door. Oh well. Alright, so let's get these on up. This look kind of cool. It look like windows. Until we get a roof on there, it'll look kind of like a castle. Up, we ran out. Up, oh, we need more wood. The sun's starting to come up. Let's see what our masterpiece looks like so far. Yeah, there we go. Looks like a little oddly shaped thatch castle. That one on down. Let's oh, did I hit somebody? Hmm, well, we can't just let you get away now. And I haven't gotten any meat in a while, so I'm going to just take advantage of you running into the rock. And get some XPs for killing you. Let's see, we're going to go mostly hide. Yeah, if you use the hatchet, you're going to get more hide, or if you use the pick, you're going to get more meat. Good, he gave up 21. That's perfect. And then let's... up. Oh, come on. Up. Oh, I heard a die low. Go ahead and spit at me. You hit me through the house! How did you do that? Come here. Alright, come on. That's right. Yeah. See, there's my friend the Parasaur. He kicked your ass. Now, give me your skin. Good job, buddy. If I could pet you, I would. Here, why don't you just uh, get out of the way of my front door. Good job. We're going to take you back over here to your little holding pen. A little further. Let's give you a nice U for unfollow. And uh, you know what? We'll go ahead and we're going to give you some more berries. Good job. Oh, and you leveled up. So you are just going to pump your health for now. Eventually, we're going to start, pump, start pumping his weight too once he's got a little bit more health. But as you can see, like he took a you know, little bit of little bit of damage there. I think he did. Maybe I misread that. Um. Hmm. Well, you ate all the mayo berries you had already. We'll give you these. All right, well, let's get one more foundation down here, make it easier to get in and out. Craft that. How are we looking on time? Oh, we still got eight minutes left. Okay, good. Maybe, just maybe, we can get this house done at least. Throw that there. Uh, what that? Nine. Boom. So now, yep, we can just walk right up, walk in. And the game uh, hiccups, come on. All right, we got that. So now, I lost track of where I was. So, uh, yeah, our weight's not that high. Okay. We do need to make some more spears again, too, though. And maybe we should come down to the water and kill some me Mega Piranha for some levels. It'd be nice if we could get to where we could uh, start making some metal, but I don't think we're going to get there. Uh, I was about to say I should probably put that fire out, but then uh, it took care of it for me. We are going to need to restock all those, though, put wood in all our fires, collect our charcoal from the other side. Let's get these door frames up, and let's learn how to make doors in a minute, too. Let's see, how many points do we have? Nothing. Okay. Well, so much for making doors. Alright, well. Uh, so we're going to need door frames. We're going to need at least one more wall. So let's do that first. Single wall, craft. Oh, are door frames more expensive than walls now? Yeah, I guess they are. We need 20 of those, and we can only do 7 of these. Hmm. 
happen? What is... Okay, never mind. Alright. Let's make these continue with our little uh, theme we got going on here. Drop that there. Score nine. Put that one up. And zero. I think that's backward. I think I hit E to flip. There we go. And... We do that perfectly? Nope, we got one extra one. Oh well. That's alright. Let's get rid of this roof we're carrying real fast, and then once we get those up, this house is pretty much done. For now. We got a cool little structure. Alright, let's clean out our inventory again and see what kind of... What are we short? We got plenty of thatch. We need more wood. We have enough fiber to last us a little while. All right, so we can ditch half this flint. Throw that in there. We'll ditch half these rocks, too, just to lose the weight. Uh, let's go ahead and get this meat cooking up. And let's lose this door frame. There's no reason to carry that around. Oh, and we got all this hide we're carrying. Why are we doing that? Get rid of that. All right. Let's get rid of these seeds, too. Like I said before, I think we're just going to chuck in those anyway. All right, so you fire... Take your charcoal, throw that back in. You're going to need to remember to put some wood in the fire. There's the charcoal here. And then really we just need wood and maybe grab a little bit of fiber before we start running low again. Once we get these roofs on, I want to start working on leveling. can we make? Oh, that's more than enough. So, one, two, three. Let's start walking back. Very slowly. We'll do a little picking on our way. Got a multitask, you know. Yeah, I'd definitely like to at least get another team started. I really want a Fiomia just because they're a lot faster than these guys are. The Parasaurs are, like, as close to useless as you can get. Like, they're okay for transportation, but they're really not even great for that, because they kind of lack the stamina that you need for going any kind of real distance. They're just so damn goofy. There's that. I think we just need uh, one more, yeah. Throw that on up there. And... Let's remember to... Oh, we didn't light the fire last time. I'm an idiot. Put that in there. Light that up. Do we have anything else to ditch that we're carrying? Doesn't look like it. So, let's make a couple more spears. That'll give us three. That should be enough. And let's check our stats. We need some water, so let's head down this way. These Mega Piranha, Piranha, or Piranha, I feel like they made them a lot harder with this update. Or I've just had really bad luck with them. Oh, uh, I really want to get... But let's just see. Let's see how things are looking down here. Got some coat. I don't see any Mega Piranha. Which probably just means they're back at a distance watching me. That looks like one down there, maybe. Let's see what happens. And I immediately broke my spear. Let's get a little air and let's try that again. I kind of want the Mega Piranha to come after me because then I can just lure him up towards the beach and just stab the shit out of him. Okay, th I think this is the one I stabbed before. Oh, come on. There's one. Where'd he go? Did you vanish? Oh, there you are. Give me your meat. 
Yeah, everybody else is kind of clearing out now. Yeah, this wasn't such a good idea. All right, we're going to go to the other side to see what we can find. We'll leave this side alone for now. Maybe get some more mayo berries. We need a slingshot. That's what we need. Get something knocked out. Leave him to hang out there. Alright, let's make a slingshot real fast. Grab this. Do this. What are we short? Wood? Five? Really? That should do it there. Craft item. With 18 stones. That should do us. That should, that should work okay. We'll just hang on to the hide. Uh, yeah, let's drop this on five. It's usually where I put my bow. Up. Oh, well, maybe not. So that's our clock. So this is how far I can get in arc in one hour. This isn't too bad. I mean, we've got a nice little base camp established. We've got one dinosaur tamed out that we can kind of use to help protect us here. Or at least use them as a wall of resistance. Man, this is an ugly looking weird house without any doors. But, uh... You know, it's not too bad. It's, uh... I thought maybe I could hop up there. We've got, uh, you know, mortal and pestle going. We could make narcotics, if I had, uh, remembered. Uh, we got, here's one spoiled meat. I think I got another one on me. So, I mean, yeah, we're, we're definitely getting somewhere. We're making progress, and that's really what's important. Drop these in there. Oh, man, we should have done this a minute ago. We could have got another level out of it. Yeah, this, is, this has been a great game. I, um... I've really been impressed with Ark since I picked it up. I know I haven't put up that, all that many videos on it, but it's kind of a it's a difficult game to do a blind playthrough because you really do have to learn a lot and experiment a lot before you can get somewhere in this. And there's a lot of things that you almost have to learn from other players or just kind of figure out on your own by chance. Um, throw our movement on there again. But uh, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see more from this game. I'm going to keep this save and I'm going to leave it in the state that it's in. Maybe we'll do this again. Maybe we'll do another uh, hour-long playthrough and just see how far we can get. Because, I mean, in one hour, we got our character all the way up to level 8. We've got a reasonable amount of progress made. And, uh, you know, we're, we're getting to where we could really start moving forward here. So I'm going to end things right here. I'm going to feed the character. And it uh, looks like we're good on water. I'm going to back out of this uh, just so the state saves exactly where we left it. So thanks again for watching, guys. And I'll be back again soon with more.